Okay, we're at uh, Gulliver's World today for their uh, light show. So this is the entrance, which is, uh, I think it's called the Land of Lights. How cool is that? So we were here earlier in the year with uh, Casper and Anita. Well, we've just come through the door, so we are inside at the minute, and uh, we're met with uh, this. So we have been to a, a light show before, which was uh, in Manchester. Uh, we've also been to one in Calais. Um, can't remember. I think we might have been. Have we been to any others? Calais, Manchester, Manchester, and where else? Is that it? Anyway, the Manchester one's not on anymore, but this is uh, Warrington's version. So, I think this is the all about the sea, I think. Fish in the fish shark. It's a hammerhead, I think they call it. And, uh, really cool. I think what they are, they're like. Um, so it's like a, a material and, and they stretch it over wire and then there are uh, obviously lights within it. So yeah, Heaton Park in Manchester is uh, probably I don't know what that's Yeah. It's really really good. It's really good. Really good. Impressed, and then uh, <laughs> then we're into uh, Gulliver's world itself. So we're outside now uh, to look at some of these. Um, there's a butterfly. Yeah, alright. <laughs> There's a bit of fly. And uh Very cool. Would you Christy just post some photos in front of the uh wings? I don't think any of the rides are open tonight, but uh, <laughs> I can see that again again. There you go. So it's his turn to walk this way. So I think that's exactly what we'll do. That's uh, look just looking across the lake. So I'll zoom in a bit for you. So that's the uh, view across the lake. It's quite spectacular. I think some of them are coming through really, really bright on the camera, but uh, there's Pudsey. 
once we get out away from some of the lights. The uh, swans quite spectacular. I must admit they're, they're um, better than what they were at Heaton Park, as I remember. I think we, we saw them quite late on there. So I, th I think they were looking a bit worse for wear, but uh, these looking really good, Nick. And especially considering of the bad weather that we've had. like a, a net of lights uh, which is leading you through which I, I, I remember like a Heaton Park it, it was it didn't feed you through like this we, you kind of made your own way around in whichever direction you wanted to go so there's always an op a chance that you were going to miss something and, and Calais was pretty much the same as well whereas uh, I like this idea because then you don't miss anything you get to see Everything. You want a picture by the floor? They look uh, really nice. Really, really nice. I suppose they call this like a street of tulips, I, I would uh, I think it would be the best. Um, I, I don't know if you can see the wolf. <laughs> They're not really part of this show, but... During the day, this is a, basically a theme car park for the kids, mostly the younger kids. There's a shop there you can get donuts and I dare say be one or two bits and pieces like that that'll be open. I don't know if they've done here before. I don't know if it's been on here before at all. So. Really good. It's uh, quite spectacular, really. Quite spectacular. I'll keep moving on. I'm not going to wait for Christine's. Uh, an awful lot of be. If I move on a bit, there isn't really anybody in front of me, so I'm um, not getting other people's kids and things on so it's like a, an American themed area so we've got the like, totem poles and um, I think they call them dream catchers Indians well they are really really good really good so this is a and the cacti. Absolutely fantastic. The wolf. 
There you go. Stagecoach. Saloon. I think the uh, I think the wood's flashing on yours, but it's not on my uh, in as as I look at. I think it's showing it as a uh, flashing on the camera. Uh, I think that's to do with shutter speed. I think. Uh, uh, whoa! And, uh, there's a snake. Bucking Bronco, Cowboy. close up just to show you just how cool these are, how brilliantly made they are. Western theme now, and it seems to be all about the rabbits and the uh, mushrooms and toadstools, I think. Some farmyard animals coming up somewhere in a minute because they can't see a cow, but I don't know if you heard the sheep earlier. Tractor, pigs, barn, tomatoes, strawberries, cockerel on the top of the uh, barn. All the farmyard animals, but <laughs> I've not seen those particular 
animals. So some giant toadstools here. To give you an idea, I mean these are about the same height as Christine. We're now we're uh, reaching a prehistoric area, so uh, that's uh, like tusks leading us in at the beginning here. Mammoth. We go on to ones that I don't know the names of. So uh, we'll just call them dinosaurs and then I can't be accused of getting them wrong. Although I think that one is a stegosaurus. So I think is what that would be. Not sure what they, this one is, but. So that's a Tyrannosaurus. I mean, he must stand. Oh, ten feet up in the air as his arm moves. You don't generally get uh, these things moving, so I'm quite impressed by that. I don't know how long they take to make, but they must spend a all year making them but it, it, I say it is wire and then a, a material stretched over it Very good, very, very good. There's one that's um, actually sort of like a skull that's on the ground. I do like the idea of it feeding you through the park so you don't actually miss anything. There's supposed to be a, another skull. So I suppose it's, uh, we've worked our way through it. I suppose his end bit is a, the extinction of the dinosaurs. I think this will probably be uh, Christine's favourite bit because uh, we've got the fairies. They're very different. I think I'll have to stop for a little bit and wait for Christine because I'll have to take photos here I'm afraid and then start again in a second okay photographs done and uh, can move on a little bit again there and now
we'll be doing fo we'll be doing photographs again I think. Well, I think Christina want photographs done in there so I will I will stop again. Well, that's uh, photos done again and uh, let's move on. So and these are uh, more like uh, castle type themed area I think. Whoa. I think we've got a king size grasshopper. So the, the flashing lights are to do with the shutter speed. So it only seems to be on certain parts of it. So it's legs that's flashing is the uh, shutter speed in relation to the lights themselves. But it's fantastic. hanging down as we walk down this walkway and uh, They are quite spectacular. I think this, this place is open, I think it's open for about, oh, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks. This is uh, probably the cheapest day to go on, which is today, Wednesday. It's uh, the best night, because we've not got any rain. Oh, but, Look at this, this area is all flowers and insects, I suppose. Butterflies and spiders. I think these are all butterflies now. Really good light show though, I must admit, I've really enjoyed it. Wow. There's some giant flowers and uh a unicorn. A butterfly on a flower there. Oh, 
I think we're into mythical creatures now. So, uh, the unicorn. Winged unicorn. That's, that's absolutely brilliant, that is. I'm um, not so sure about these. Looks like clouds. Um, and the dragon. A two headed dragon. Or some filming onto the castle in the background. flowers and I think now there's a, a bit of a Halloween theme going on and uh, with the uh, skeletons and the pumpkins and the crosses were I think I think the cross more relates to the day of the dead but uh, definitely Halloween and Dracula to be fair. Uh, I might be able to just show you inside. Um, I, th I think all of these pumpkins and things relate to when they, for the Halloween that they've had here in the park. If I remember my childhood, it's uh, Dennis the Menace, Nasher, and Minnie the Minx. with a witch. That's the witch. to catch up. There's a more of the Day of the Dead. It's like a Mexican Halloween. Quite like the Day of the Dead theme. The thing about the uh, Day of the Dead, the difference with uh, to Halloween is Day of the, the Dead is about remembering those that have died. So if there's people that you remember that have died, they kind of all come back to life again. But they only disappear forever when everybody forgets them. So as family members forget them, they start to die and fade away for good. Which I kind of like that idea. So remembering um, people like Grandma and Nan, Mar Auntie Margaret and such like. 
you know, I suppose it, it kind of brings them back. It's a time for remembering and celebration, whereas Halloween is more about witches and witchcraft type thing, and whereas Day of the Dead just seems to have a bit more meaning to it. Very Mexican though. Okay, and now I guess we're doing uh, Africa with the uh, giraffes and the uh, hippo. Look, sometimes you just have to get out of the light a little bit to get a better view of them. Uh, really good, really good. Rhino. Baby rhino. Zebra. Um, not really got a clue what he's to do with. I think it's some, like maybe tribal, I don't know, African tribal thing possibly. <laughs> Sometimes just to get the light. Out. The reason why I'm saying African tribe thing is because uh, obviously these animals and things that we're looking at relate to Africa. So, uh, it's a female lion and a male lion, leopard. Yeah, it's just getting the the right angles with the camera so you can actually look at them uh, and there you go look look actually quite stunning the parrots there's a tiger uh, some more of these I'm not really sure what these are supposed to be I'm going to be honest um, they're obviously supposed to be depicting um, a zebra again but, uh, strange these things are And I'm not really sure what they are. Faces, let's say. Uh, elephant. Admit, I've been more impressed with these than I have uh, any of the other ones that we've been to. They're really good. Seem to have done a lot of uh, light show type things this this uh, winter, more than we normally seem to do. So I think we're going up and above. To look down on some of these now, I think. So, it's up here. And then uh, along the walkway. It 
does have a really nice Christmassy feel to it. to some sort of focus. Absolutely stunning. I mean, it's just fantastic to walk through this, um, I don't know, tunnel of lights, let's call it. Street of lights, tunnel of lights. to um, Truly, truly spectacular. They call these like nutcracker soldiers. And a train. Let's look at the length of this, this is absolutely brilliant. North Pole Express. I think I think they might have had a bit of trouble uh, fitting all the letters on because there's a nice space between North and Pole, but <laughs> it looks like Poly Express. Poly Express. Still. I think that's a... Uh, I think I'm just being a bit petty, really. It is really, really uh, brilliant, spectacular. I don't know what else to say about them. I'm, I'm really, really impressed with these. They're some of the best ones that I've ever seen. Really good. There's a big man himself. Sunset. 
Brilliant. This has been um, terrific. I think we're nearing the end now. I see the the sign that says uh, exit. Not sure what these are supposed to be, but uh, they got. I think Heaton Park when we went there, there was a massive water show on, um, which was really good. Look at that. It's a pirate ship, I think. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. Amazing, really, really amazing. All right, brilliant. Turtle are finished, so I think that's pretty much it now. I think we're working our way out. Yeah. Um, I think that concludes the uh, tour of the park. Just working our way out now. Really good, that. <laughs> and uh, as Homer Simpson says, all good rides end in the gift shop. Now the jingle hop has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell.